my name is Nathan. I live on the island of Pata, in the Chuka Lagoon in Micronesia. Can I tell you a story? Fifteen years ago, my Uncle John and Aunt Teresa came with their girls to this island to share Jesus with the Chukis people. Now my family and I work with other families in a clinic, a church, and a school to help people choose Jesus in their lives. Auntie Teresa is a nurse, and she showed Jesus love by helping the people with their sicknesses. Now Nurse Joyce and her helper Becky are really, really busy twice a week helping the people to get well and to stay well. Do you know what people are saying about the clinic? This is what they say. I really see the importance of the clinic to all the people of the islands on the western end of the Chuk Lagoon. It's such a blessing for them to come here instead of having to make the long trip to the hospital on the island of Wino. During storms and high waves and when we don't have a boat or money for gas, it's almost impossible to reach the hospital on the main island of Wino. But it's easy to come to this clinic here because it's so close by. However, we've seen many come to get medical help, but they turn back and go home when they realize they can't climb the steep hill to the clinic. But if the clinic were relocated at the head of the dock, where our church and school are located, it would make it so easy for patients to come get their help there. Many of you have already given money to build a new clinic. It will be built next to the school and the church. Thank you so much. We have almost $3,000, but we still need $47,000. What are we planning to do in the clinic in the next few years? I'll let Nurse Joyce answer that question. I see the clinic as we've known for many years that the medical work is the right arm of helping to spread the gospel. And with our medical work, it has opened doors and allowed us to go into areas that we would not be able to get into otherwise. And this opens up opportunities to be able to pray and witness with the people. We've been trying to do a lot of teaching one-on-one, but there's a large need for health education. And I would like to see two full-time nurses working. Um, We desperately need to have further outreach to the islands around on a regular basis. To do this, they need a boat and motor, probably just for them. A boat has been made available, but there is no motor to go with it, so that is a need. Um, But we also need dedicated, willing people with a passion and a fire for God and a love for people to further this work and to continue it. Jesus is coming soon, and there's so much need and so many people to reach in a short time. Now, I'll let my daddy tell you about our church. Dedicated in 1996, our small church has grown to over 120 members with around 40 active adults participating every week. Though we have struggled raising local leaders, we are slowly seeing them being willing to lead out, even the youth. This really encourages us. Our biggest challenge in our church can be expressed best by our own church members. Here is Tosie. What I really think is important in our church members is for us to be meek and humble so we can truly love each other. If we continue this kind of love for each other, then everything we plan to do in our church will be successful. I'd like to see all thoughts of unkindness and hatred and jealousy be put completely out of our hearts and in their place be filled with God's love so that we can truly live at peace with one another. Yay! 
Yes, our church needs a new roof and ceiling, and you can help us raise money for that. But what we really need, like Mama Dosia said, is to let Jesus change our hearts so we can really, really love one another. And then more chukis will be ready when Jesus comes to take them home. Guess what? When I was just a year old, we opened our small workshop and started teaching a few children. Now, thanks to many people like you, we have a two-story school with around 40 students. And guess what? Just last month, we finally got our school charter from Federated States of Micronesia. Now we can teach children from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. You know what? It really doesn't cost much money to go to our school, but still some of our friends cannot afford it. That's why we are so thankful to you who have helped these students go to school, especially those older students that go on to the Adventist High School on Wino Island. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to express my thanks to God for the blessing this school has been to our children. They can understand English now and look up and read verses in the Bible. I'm also thankful for my work in assisting Teacher Wesley in the classroom. It has helped me to learn more English myself. If I saw so one eighteen, I am that leave it and must it, and behold, I am an eye for it for more. Please keep helping them so they can learn about Jesus and how to be a leader. And some of you even gave us a school boat with a life jacket for each student, so we can have students come from other islands. You even sent us seeds for our students to plant their own gardens. Thank you so much. My daddy is the principal, and he says what we really need is teachers who love Jesus with all their heart and love children too. Would you like to come teach? It really doesn't matter how old you are. Please let us know. I really like living here in Chuuk because it's not in the city. But it's not easy sometimes to share Jesus. Many of these people just like the way they're living. They don't want to change. They smoke and drink and steal and sometimes beat each other. Even some of our church members do these things. So that's why what we really, really need is people who will teach and show others what it means to live as a Chukis Christian and to do what is right, no matter what people think. Many of my Chukis friends don't have much money and it's hard to feed their families. So what we also really need is to help them start their own little businesses, baking bread, catching and selling fish, sewing and selling clothes, then they can make enough money to feed their families and to give to God's work. Daddy says he's even making the school even better. He's changing the program so the students will learn how to garden and to cook and to sew and lots of other things. Yes, it takes money to do God's work. That's why we are thankful to you for giving to help us build a new clinic, and to remodel the church roof, and to buy gardening and other tools for our students. Thank you so much. But most of all, thank you for praying for us. What we really need is God's Spirit living through all of us. Isn't that right?